Hello, welcome to Joyful Angel Oracle. I'm Angelia Joy. Thank you for joining me today. This week we'll be calling on the Oracle of the Mermaids by Lucy Cavendish. At this time I'll open with the invocation. If you'd like to set your intention and focus your awareness. I ask the divine energy of love. Thank you. Permeates the universe and bonds all in one. To guide each of us seeking into the highest truth we are ready to understand. And so it is. Scoot it down just a little. We're going to start here with Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. The mirror. Know thyself. Self-examination. Seeing who you really are. She's beautiful. Let us see what she has to sing to us today. Water is a great mirror, and the darker it is, the clearer the reflections of the world around it will be. And so it is with life. The clearer mirror we can look into will show us who we appear to be. But the dark mirror, metaphorically, is when life or the sea or our feelings become darker, more complex, sad, thoughtful, deep, and at times very painful. But it is at these times that we can see who we truly are. For under duress, our true character can be observed. And sometimes, we do not always like the truth of what we see in this dark mirror. But the mermaid can help us with this as she holds up a mirror, but a magical one, that not only shows us our appearance, it shows all of ourselves, our sweetness, our hurts, and our scars. In it, we may see what is hidden to the eye of the body but known to the eyes of the soul. In dreams, these mirrors may appear, and in emotional times when we realize that we are still hurting or have wounds we have sought to cover up. There is no need to cover up or camouflage in this beautiful mirror, nor is it right to judge the scars and woundings or the beauty and the glory. They simply are. And by seeing clearly, especially in the dark mirror of the great mother ocean, we can see who we are. While we swim in clear waters, we can see the light and the positive. But when we swim in dark waters, we can truthfully see so much of who we are and make changes, adaptations, or come to accept the truth of who we are without seeking to adjust. We come to self-love, to self-knowledge, and self-healing. Ooh. That's a beauty. Mirror work is intense, but it is is beautiful. Here on the weekend, after all that that work in the mirror, number 27 for the weekend, adrift, letting go, allowing a higher force to take charge for a time. Look at her hand there. She's completely relaxed. Just undulating in the waves. Is that a setting sun? Is it just over the horizon? She's absolutely beautiful and relaxed. Let's see what she has to say to us today for the weekend. What is it? To be without direction, without self-determination, without a sense of empowerment. Is it always disempowering? So this card invites you to contemplate the many aspects of letting go. And as so many of you humans say, so many times it has become a cliche, going with the flow. Sometimes, for all our strength and purpose... We mermaids just let go for a time, especially if there has been great turmoil and we are weak. So the adrift card suggests that there is a sense of making no effort at all at the moment, that you may be safe and able to float, 
but it is up to the tides and the cycles and to the waves and to the wind to determine your, de your destination. It can also suggest that there is a lack of urgency for you at the moment, that you are willing to be totally compliant and to see what happens next. And yet, this is a choice too. You can always paddle. You can choose to lie down, turn your face to the clouds, and drink the waters from the sky when they choose to come, to allow your fate to be decided for you. And sometimes this is right and good. It is sometimes humbling and can create wisdom, the wisdom that comes with observation and stillness and the sense of sacrificing yourself to a greater power than yourself. There is no longer an anchor. There is no sail. There is no oars and there is no map. There is only the floating world of which you are a part. So maybe after... After all this self-examination and really know thyself and seeing who you truly are and the accepting and the embracing or the, the, the shifting and the adjusting, whichever you choose, there's no right or wrong. It's, it's your choice. But here as we go into the weekend, it's to just allow it to be, allow all of that to sift through and into your world and let it all carry you and that's when you see if what you discerned in the mirror holds true in your spirit and soul I think that's what this weekend following that would be about then as the week opens with Monday <laughs> number 14 isn't this beautiful oh I love this message water flight heaviness lifts burdens are cast away weightlessness so here this wasn't a weekend of you know like uh, just laz lazing about this was a needed step in order to reach here where the heaviness is allowed to lift because here in the letting go we had the, the awareness and the embracing and then the allowing and then here everything begins to raise up let's see what she has to offer us in the number 14 Water flight, the mermaid sing. When one of we sea being lies upon the shore, unable to return for hours to the sea, just above the tide line, led there by sonar and other human follies, we die not so much from the dryness of the air, but from the weight of the world of the air. You see, in the world of water, we are what light. We weigh less, the water holds us, suspends us in the world of air we are left to fall to the ground to remain heavier and the weight of our own bodies organs blood and bone slowly crushes us similarly if you humans live too much in the world of air without the weightlessness and suspension the support and the buoyancy of water you can be crushed and weighed down until you can barely breathe in any more you live so much in the world of air in terms of intellect, too. The thought world dominates humans. You neglect the feeling world, which can sustain, uplift, and support you, allowing you in the realm of emotional imagination to do what your head says cannot be done, to take flight, to create story, to feel the depth and possibility of your lives, and to wonder. The world of air often crushes the life out of the dreams of water. Do not let this happen to you. It is time to allow yourself the freedom to feel and to express those feelings. There is a lot of work ahead. Not work. There is there's a lot of discerning and awareness to be had in the next few days coming. Here with the mirror work, know thyself, self-examination, seeing who you really are. And upon embracing that, just sitting with it and allowing it to be. And really embracing the truth of what this means in your life. And as that filters through you, 
The week opens up on Monday and the heaviness lifts and burdens are cast away and you get to rise up. So don't be afraid to go here. Because we have this beautiful... Each step has its own beauty, but this this feeling of of rising up is what we've been what I have been seeking and waiting. It's gonna be a beautiful week. I thank you for joining me and I hope this helps you tremendously. I love you. I'll see you again. Goodbye.